Hi, this is Jason from Lightspeed. In a previous video, I showed you how to add products into your system one at a time. Who has time for that? So today I'm going to show you how to search catalogs for existing items and import those into your system. Let's take a look. And welcome to my board game store. I've just learned of a great new board game that I want to add to my inventory, but I don't have time right now to fill out all of the various fields of its anatomy, so I'm going to take a shortcut and I'm going to find it on my supplier's catalog and import it ready-made into my system. To do that, I'm going to click on Inventory, followed by Item Search. Here we're looking at a list of all of the items that are already in my inventory, and I can search for the new item I want to add and see that I don't have it yet. So what I'll do, instead of clicking on new item and creating it from scratch, I'm going to click on advanced to open my advanced search options. And I'm going to check catalog results. And what that's going to do is the next time I click on search, it's going to search through this full list of all of my vendor catalogs to see if any of them carry this game. Now I can pick a specific vendor if I want to search just there, but I'm going to leave this at the default of all catalogs to see what kind of results we get. And we can see here we have four results at two different catalogs. So I can pick the one that looks good to me. Um, we're going to take this one because it looks to be a little bit more filled out and I'm going to import it directly into my local inventory. It's going to automatically open that item so I can take a look and see what the default price and MSRP is. I can fill something out that might be missing like the default cost. I can apply it to one of my categories that I have in my system and fill out any other information that I want to fill out. Once I'm done, save the changes and there we go. A brand new item in my inventory created in record time. In order to import items this way, however, you will need to set up your vendor catalogs in the system and you can find out lots more information on how to do that on our help center. Be sure to check out those videos. Thanks very much for watching.